Is this the new Who? Or is I mean, there's the special starting season then there's one, new, but it's, yeah. with the specials, I never know. Okay. Usually Lana would be like, hey, yeah. this is a numbered right from what they do here. I'm like, I yeah. don't know what they're doing anymore. But I think the next episode is supposed to be season one, episode one, I think. Season one, episode one? It's season one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Because of the, the new affiliation thing with Disney Plus, they're starting at season one, episode one, so that right. Americans no. don't get confused. It's like a comic book. Like, you, you don't want to, you know, no one's going to buy issue. <laughs> 903, but they're going to buy the new issue one. Especially no new person, right? <laughs> yeah. No one's going to be like, let me jump in here on 967. Yeah. I just hope that they throw in all the old stuff, too. Mm-hmm. That's what well, Doctor Who is for. It has natural starting points every, like, three or four seasons. <laughs> they had series one or whatever, right, with Eccleston, and they still connected it back to the mm-hmm. old stuff. So yeah, And they even tied it to the movie. They did. Which most people just disregarded <laughs> as much as they could. Hey guys, we're long way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. I'm Colin. Hey, Eric. And we are back with Doctor Who, where last time we had a, uh, a splitting of doctors. Yeah. Wait, no, I got that side. Which, with, with all that too, yeah, I don't but, know if I told you guys, but uh, I heard, apparently there was like a, it's like a behind the scenes video. Russell T. Davies had said that that incident splits the doctor but not just at that regeneration, but all previous regenerations as well. What do you mean? Yeah. So that mean? You, made, you said that like it makes sense. When, <laughs> in, in, in theory, then, yeah. when Eccleston turned into Tennant, uh-huh. Eccleston stayed and Tennant was created. When Tennant turned into Smith, uh-huh. Tennant stayed and Smith was created. Like every regeneration, if I understood it correctly, every yeah. regeneration past had a bi-generation bi-gener- for all of them. They all by generate Like on the fifth dimension. So is that retroactive? Or did we not see well, everything that happened? Well, the fifth dimension time. happens throughout yeah. and despite of time. I'm assuming it, it happens from this point retroactively going back. Okay. Which, it's like a wormhole. So, which I don't know what that does, but that's how I understood it. <laughs> does that mean that we might actually go back and see... Eccleston and Tennant. Or does it mean that the they actually screen? died after they regenerated? I got one. I got, I got a fun fact. When they split, like, I didn't even notice, but, like, one's wearing the shirt, one's wearing the pants. Oh. <laughs> that's I was like, why he had no see, pants. See, that one's simple, easy to understand, Aaron. I don't have to have fifth dimension uh, knowledge. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This was, like I said, this was behind the scenes. Yeah. It's what the creator was. So does that mean for it? multiple doctors <laughs> spawned into existence at that time? Or does that mean that they always did that, we just weren't aware because it's an observer effect and we have to observe that it happened. Uh, no, that's how, that's like, how time works. Wouldn't River Song have a permanent husband then? Uh, no. no. That'd be too nice for her and she's very tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Whole timeline by generated then um, after the event occurs. So after the event occurs. You then imagine how it played out with the other doctors while speaking with David Tennant and executive producer Phil Collinson. Okay. So from the yeah from the way this sounds, like okay. the idea is that it retroactively it goes back and all doctors have split into two. So like <clears throat> when Matt Smith goes, I'll always remember when the doctor was mean. He goes ah, and then old man Peter Capaldi shows up. He still is there. <laughs> He's so, like, oh well, I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> you know, Do I don't have know. Two no. David Tennant's then? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Three. Well, I don't know what happened. Rose to has one, yeah, too. Rose yeah, Rose has one, yeah, I don't know. Well, that's, well, what, that's not a doctor, though. Yeah, but he did regenerate. So yeah. how does that bi-generate <laughs> like the, an with, with the hand? Does it... Alternate universe? Does that cause any... I don't know. That's, yeah, that's another uh, universe where My he brain is, is like So the timeless right child now. can theoretically clone itself. And well, reproduce asexually. Yeah, and you're also not counting then before Hartnell. There's a lot of doctors that we yeah. don't necessarily know, right? Like yeah. the Ruth Doctor, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. she regenerated yes. at some point. Yeah. This event was a singularity that uh, transcends just time travel. This happened throughout time. One event, multiple times. So yes. is the timeless oh. child the entire <coughs> Time Lord race then? Because no. if we're talking about like like an, yeah. a, a possibly infinite number of regenerations, then duplicating. Yeah, no, I think but, no. This has happened now, and it didn't happen before. I think the but timeless, you could recreate the time lords now. That's what I'm saying. Of it. Or yeah. the timeless child is like incest. the badger moles to like the earthbenders, and they just yeah. kind of like watch how they did it, and they figure it out. Oh, oh something like that. Yeah. But anyway, if I'm wrong with that, I'm sure people will let me know. Or no, let if me you're know. wrong, people are usually gracious and don't say it in every comment, especially to you. 
Yeah. We have a new doctor. Yeah, uh, Shooty. Shooty. Mm-hmm. He was uh, very <laughs> charming. He, I liked him. High yes. energy. High energy. <laughs> he was. Who also was supposedly in Barbie, I believe. He was. He was one of the kids. He was in Barbie? He, he was, was one of the kids. Oh, yeah. Gotta rewatch Barbie. Mm-hmm. Gotta get to rewatch Barbie. I don't think he had that many lines, though. No. Mm-hmm. He no. was just dancy. Yeah, he was in the, in the I'm Ken. Shooty. Shooty. Some with a G. Quata? Something like that. Shooty Gato. from Sex Ed. I forget. Shooty. I'm going to say Shooty. Well, and also, uh, we, you know, we were on break. We skipped over uh, the holidays here at Blind Week. We were all at home with our families. But now we get to celebrate Christmas again because this is a Christmas special. Yeah, right? we missed yeah. this. So yeah, now we, we get to watch it. So Merry right. Christmas to us. Everyone. She carried in her arms the most precious gift of all. Dr. Pepper. A oh. newborn child. Dr. Who? Pepper. She left her daughter <laughs> on the steps of the church. You know that baby's exposed its face. It's so cold. Yeah, but they knocked. Man, you just, it was too close to the door. They just tripped over it. <laughs> the doctor. Okay. He looked this distraught. Sad. I love the way the TARDIS, like, Mm-hmm. Surfs in the It hits all the clouds and leaves like a stream. Shooty. He drives recklessly. I mean, he doesn't know how yet. I don't think you really drive the TARDIS. You kind of just like. You pilot Hang it. on. Still wait for my to begin. Sorry, can we stop? She has my mom's chin, which I also have, but you can't see. <laughs> I was found. It's so found. I was foundled. I love that. Found, foundled? <laughs> that sounds dirtier. Fondled. Fondled. <laughs> I fondled him. <laughs> oh, the heck! It's a cute hat. It's a gremlin. There? I feel like hide keys and stuff. They're gonna trip him. The cute little. <gasps> oh no! Oh, no! God, we will never know the truth. Huh? <gasps> That's some Final Destination stuff right there, you know? Those little shits knew what they were doing. Yeah. Whoa, look at the drip! <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll always he have the... Uh, doctors yeah. never looked cooler. Hey, those are the type of boots her mama was wearing. What? Whoa, kill. <laughs> nice. That was a change. Well, we're in the next day. I know, but the outfit's you, just very different. But you gotta change it so that while he follows this this lady, they don't know he's following her. Or he succumbed to dance. Yeah. You ever succumbed to dance? Have you? I have. <laughs> oh, is there just one or is there more than one? I think there's more than there one. There has to be more than one. Definitely. Because there was one that was holding the cord taut. How do you get there? I'm just losing. No, no, you're not. It's worse than that. It's that. that makes me feel better. <laughs> Thank you for telling me it's worse than what I thought. Danger, <laughs> all you mean. Ah! Oh, that was you. That's all. Where did the table that was get up? No, the table was there. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, was the whole table gone? She wasn't the whole looking. table was gone. I don't, either the ta- if I knew the table there, I still don't do this. <laughs> I don't drop it. I'd right? yeah, put it on it. Yeah. It's on her. He's right. I, I've never done. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whirlwind about look, and who's in the center of it? Me. Oh. <laughs> oh, seats I don't want to be in a car with you, maybe. Where's were the driver? A, oh, were wait. you not in a cab? I was looking at the wrong way. I was looking at the. There's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Jeez. <laughs> they have have they been ones. following her her whole life? <laughs> it's gonna fall on the car. That cabbie would not. Ooh, what's that, that looked like? like a, that was. Cool. Was that a screwdriver? It had to be. It made the it noise. It was a Sonic. It looked like a like a car key fob thing. It was cool. No, no, baby. Oh. <laughs> Get that baby out of here. Pick it. You made her hesitate. She could have been through. He's <laughs> <there>. <laughs> <laughs> a pram at midnight. It's my shopping. <laughs> shopping at midnight, though? Oh, no, oh, he wore a little Santa, Santa, Santa hat. Yeah. <laughs> They're elves. No. Krampus elves. Kramp- Ooh, Krampus elves. I like Good. that. I just got snowman, and I would like to go home. <laughs> new companion, maybe? I was thinking of Ruby, might. I like it the, could be a cop. I like the pirate. Yeah, yes, was a police officer. Yep. Yeah. 
Let's go. R2. How would you know she'll say yes? Because the sales start on Tuesday and you just couldn't wait. And that's why she loves you. Merry Christmas. Aww. Huh, screwdriver is interesting. It's like a disc. Looks like the remote from Click. She says yes. Ah. A little rounder and shorter, but yeah. She said yes. She said yes. Yeah. yeah, the same boots. I'm set on these boots, so her mama's boots were like that. Maybe she left herself. <gasps> oh. My generation. Did you see what he's done? Putting that there. Well, what makes you think it was me? Because you've never liked me. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Where he come is from? He? He's laying down. <laughs> They're funny. It's on one of those creepers that mechanics use to get out of the cars. Just a prank. Aww. She's so carefree with her terrible luck. She's like, ah, she's gotten used stuff to it. happens. I, so. I think if you have that much stuff happening, you either you just can't keep being mad at it all the time. You gotta yeah. be like, oh well. Da, da, da. Today, Christmas Eve. That's amazing. What, what, oh, adopting. Foster. Yeah. Look at all those kids on that. Just like me. I got lucky all those years ago. Aww. Oh, look at that baby. Lulu Bell. Lulu Bell. Lulu Bell. <laughs> I am not going anywhere. Shackle me to this bed. And where is my cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> you still get filled for those. Oh, you might yeah. not enough. They're fashionable again. Yeah, they are. So I'm leaving you in charge. No. Don't lose the baby. No. Gremlins are going to steal that baby. I got the baby. I got the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did we know cool? Oh, she lives! <laughs> oh, yeah, she's not dead. It was just a plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was a plug thing. Right on in. It bounced off. She's paralyzed or something. Like, it could have done bad. There is no trace what? of your mum or dad. So they've never had, like, a civil job or something, I guess. Ruby, have you been having any bad luck recently? She looks, she's injured. Mm -hmm. Real bad. Jeez. She infected her with bad luck. I fell off a boat Stop on a dry boat. land. <laughs> I've even been troubled by a moose. Jeez. <laughs> His tree's gonna fall on her. Yeah, it is. As he's sawing it. <laughs> oh no! Sharp! Why is it so sharp and dangerous looking? Aaron, why did you want her to die? I didn't want her to no. die. No! <laughs> did you take it in the face? She's blind. Did she just get killed by the Star of Bethlehem? <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny. It's like that noise that you make, I mean. Phasmophobia. <laughs> Go in there. Like, how does no one see them? They're sneaky. They're small and gray. Okay. I got the baby! Oh, did they take a picture of themselves? Fools! They something. couldn't resist. Ah, uh, it is! <laughs> oh my god, uh, what the? How's it floating? <laughs> <laughs> Get the baby! Baby! She is surprisingly calm about all of this. Look at him go! Oh, on the ladder. <gasps> He's free running. Press the ladder and just pop. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> He's not even looking. It's funny. Yeah, I'll get down, go, babe. He had to have been a hurdler, man. Ah! Oh, Jeez! Holy uh, shit! He's athletic. Ruby Sunday. Ruby Sunday. I know Ruby Tuesday. Ha ha ha! He did you try that before me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like really real. Grip. Or maybe they sense oh, that you're okay. trying to hold on and they like grip. It takes all the weight. Nothing burns, nothing pulls, nothing hurts. Wow. Ta da! Well, that's Whoa. fucking cool. <laughs> Look at him! Dun, 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 it's like when Superman dun, dun, flies the lowest. Yeah. <laughs> and Mavity. They're still calling him Mavity. <laughs> they changed it forever. Do you know why they call them goblins? Because they like to gobble you up. And this lot want to gobble up the baby. They're going to eat that baby. Is there a spaceship? It's there must nice. be, right? No, it's a sky it's ship. It's a pirate ship. Cool. Oh, it's like a whole city on That's that ship. That's so cool. They were little goblin pirates. <laughs> They're like the little guys from Galaxy Quest. It's kicking time. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. You've been having lots of bad luck, yes? That started way back. I mean, <laughs> Lulu arrived today. I started having actually. So they make the bad luck, and then it makes the baby taste better? Why are you... An expert in time traveling goblins. Oh. And they are not time travelers. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, how did you do that? I spent a long, hot summer with Harry Houdini. Long, hot oh. summer. Okay. Gotta crouch through this little place. 
Oh yeah, true. I wonder how tall he really awesome. is. Huh. So when we saw the ship, it was actually smaller than I thought it was. What time were you born? I don't know, they kind of just guessed. Uh, two o'clock? I don't even know when I was born. 6.57 a.m. <laughs> me, not you. I was there for you. <laughs> if you gave me a hand... I am learning the vocabulary of rope. <laughs> <laughs> Pull this one. Well, well you can speak rope! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him run! You gonna speak rope? <laughs> ventilation shops. Oh my god, they're going into ventilation shops. They're in the ventilation shop. Why would we have a ventilation shop whenever everything's see through? The gong. Bounce. They have a gong to eat babies? That little baby's not big enough to feed anybody. Eric, it's the dinner bell, like what you have at your house. One person could feed like a hundred people for one meal. Not a baby. Yeah, but they're baby sized. They will eat a whole human, he said. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> that was. Oh, the, was that a pine cone? Was it? It's a pre dinner show. Are the bodies real and they're doing head replacements? Oh. It's. Baby, we can feast. We can die three days at least. Three days. Okay. See? I think they have like little kids doing the bodies and then they. Do like a practical head, and then they animate the eyes and the ears and stuff. Yeah. Whatever it is, the fact it that looks we, we can't tell. Yes, yeah. really good quality. I just want to see That's the song. That's the magic. I want to see the songwriter's face whenever they're like, "Hey, I need you to write a song about eating babies." As a <laughs> goblin. <laughs> oh, the king goblin! Whoa! Yeah, that one baby's not gonna feed the ba the king. <laughs> he can eat me. He makes me swear. It's like Jabba eating a... Oh. oh! Okay. Rocket Janice! <laughs> Janice. <laughs> I love his energy! Cause the Goblin King, oh the Goblin King, I can see you having a fun day. He's vomiting every Sunday. <laughs> All about distraction. Happy I want those gloves. Is it all one big group, or are they bringing the whole ship down? It's like Mary Poppins. So we are just right. I not believe what happened. I opted for a life of abstinence. This is like your family, Doctor. Mm-hmm. I'm a talk to I only found out recently. That's a coincidence. Oh, don't be saying that. <laughs> I was, uh, I was abandoned. Oh, mm. so even bigger coming today. Uh. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> they look so worried. <laughs> oh, well, that's a coincidence. No! Oh, man, the crack. Jeez. <sighs> that looked like my that's apartment. In the, that's in the crown molding. Oh, that's going to be a... One cup of tea, Marcella. Just one. Get her tea! <laughs> Baby! Where's Ruby? What you think, Ruby? Where's she gone? All the photos are gone. She's a right old pain on Christmas Eve. Last thing I need. Jeez. Everything changed. You didn't mm -hmm. know who she would be without her, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm happy as I am. I'm gonna kill all these goblins for what they've taken. And why you Yeah. Going? He's crying too. Maybe he goes back to the day that. That's why we saw it in the beginning. He goes back to the church. Oh, finally it moves! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, you dumb goblins! Oh, kick it. Kick it as hard <laughs> as you can in the stone. No! no! Okay. How do we do this? Climb! You got the gloves! Only 3% left. Uh, he charged him. Fast he charge in the TARDIS. two of them. 3% on each. Man, how many babies has that big slug eaten, you know? Pull it down! Yes. yes. Mavity! Kill <laughs> all these fucking goblins. Ugh. What? A lot Spear it onto the church. Oh, here we go. Yes. Off. Yes. Yes! Oh. Under the spot! What if the baby gets stabbed? Don't stab the baby! No! Yes! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah, just like Hot Fuzz! <laughs> that was so metal! 
He stabbed him with church. Catch the baby! <laughs> sound. Take off your glove before you knock. <laughs> I think it shorted him out. What about the parents? Do we learn about that at all? I don't think it's an important thing, I guess. Sure, I guess so. Unless it was like Rose and David, you know? Like... Hey, she didn't get very far. She's taking her time, Calvin. Maybe she's pacing. She's Walk sad. Slow, give up the baby. She just gave birth and left it behind. It was a part of her flesh and blood for so long. I love his energy so much. <laughs> I need time to get used to that screwdriver. Him instantly. Screwdriver, give me a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be weird if she did not remember him. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> All the pictures are back. She has a flask in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Davina McCall. I would have forgotten about Davina. Oh, man. Well, she got stabbed by a tree. tree. I don't know what happened. I didn't. <laughs> Eric did. No, you did. You were like, she's plugged to the back of her head. Kill her instantly. <laughs> she's dead. Paralyzed Wrong. at least. <laughs> <laughs> really hard. There's a bunch of things going on. Busy man, sweetheart. You and your box of tricks. Yeah, she's a new companion. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I hope this day would never come to see tea. each other. Yes. <laughs> she mean he went back. Oh, she's realizing that went back and got her, saved her. Man, she's like L figuring out who Kira is. He's about so high and amazing in a big leather coat. <laughs> What do you mean? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tardis is like, hey! The Tardis over here. has its own personality. Gotta walk around it. <laughs> Everyone does. Good luck, Ruby. Hmm. <laughs> that smile, you can see yeah, it from way back. Yeah, <laughs> that music. <Yeah. laughs> New home. No who. Merry Christmas, Abdo. Stop making such a fuss. <laughs> that flask is so helpful. Never seen a TARDIS before. What? Mrs. Flood spoke to me. Do we know Mrs. Flood? I need more. I don't know. She knows the TARDIS? Well, I feel like something... I feel like something changed. Uh, it could just be one of those, like, hey, this was a fun story, and one of the characters winks at you and is like, do you like that? Sure. But feels invasive. <laughs> invasive. <laughs> invasive to my fandom. So the things I can find about Flood, uh, the actress is Anita Dobson, I believe. At a point, she played Eileen Clint in the audio series Doctor Who, The Eighth Doctor Adventures. Okay. Okay. Um, Expand the universe. Also, um... The actress Anita was on East Enders, which had a crossover with Doctor Who in 1993. Doctor Who Dimensions in Time. Huh. Perhaps it's just kind of a meta thing of her having some Doctor Who experience in the past and mm. having seen. East Enders? Mm. Is that yeah. What said? East, Enders. East Enders. I've heard of that before. She was also in Red Dwarf as Captain Tao, but I don't mm. know if that's like a one off thing or if it's a common thing or what. Mm. But I know Calvin always talks about Red Dwarf. So here we have the first Ow. full episode of Shooty as the Doctor, though. Love him. What'd you guys think? Love him. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. She's fresh. She's bright. Brings so much energy. Definitely needed. It's, it's enjoyed. Okay. Quickly becoming one of my favorites. Energy, the charisma, just oozing, oozing happiness and good vibes. <laughs> I love it. Ruby, like as soon as I saw the actress, I saw it. I'm like, she looks like a companion. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like Rose and uh, Clara mixed together. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really liked it. The, the goblin, like, I don't know. The, in these specials, if this is like the new direction and everything, like, I love the creature effects. And you know how often, or how... Seldom. Not, he seldom. Yeah. <laughs> in Doctor sure. Who. No, you know, the Doctor Who creature effects of... are, like, they're kitschy and they're... Uh, Low budget. They're charming. Yeah. Remember the Sabine? Low budget yeah. isn't always bad. No, I actually Remember prefer them? it over yeah. uh, anything that's overproduced. But these are like, I don't have to grant anything. I don't have to say, well, that's Doctor Who. Like, I didn't have to do that. I just They look good. That's Slithine. They're the ones that just were 
Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> just a, just a, a, they were just human until a, they could A do glowing that. zipper on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and then they moved like weird and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I have to give credit. Doctor Who does crazy things, and sometimes they look cool, sometimes they don't. But they didn't do like what Supernatural would do sometimes, which is like, what's this one look like? Ah, it's got teeth and different contacts. weird teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I get you. Now, so I, I really like the goblin look. Going back to Shooty and how amazing he uh, is. Uh, Whenever I binged uh, sexual education, sex ed, like, as soon as I finished it, I cried because the only reason why I watched it so much is because of his personality. He's just so happy and just made me feel so good by the end of the episode. And he's just always there, caring and compassionate. And then I'm like, man, I don't know what else I can see him in. Yeah. And then we saw this, and I'm like, oh my god, my dreams have come true. Awesome. Now it's I just, here. <laughs> yeah. what, I finished that, what, a couple weeks ago or something? We've had sex ed on polls before. Maybe this will help push it. Oh, more. it should. <laughs> no, I think the energy he has and stuff is really good, but I think the, the story element felt more like a Doctor Who... Yeah, crazy adventure thing, which yeah. is always the fun episode of Doctor Who that I always mm-hmm. enjoyed when there was some kind of crazy creature and we had to stop it and do this, where it was like a lot of the Chibnall era stuff didn't quite have that fun adventure feeling, and lots of times it felt more, I don't know, it either felt a little bit more drawn out or it felt Documentary. like... Documentary. <laughs> yeah, or very like on the nose of like we want to make sure that we really get across that we're talking about pollution yeah. or very whatever satirical it is. Very satirical. Well, like, which is, I think, fine to have. But it, it lost some of the fun element that yeah. made Doctor Who so fun. Like, like I love those episodes. Like whenever you combine them yeah. in between, like you have a story arc with some of that thrown in. Like the Tesla episode, I loved. Mm-hmm. But I need it in between of our huge arc. The thing I liked about this one is it kind of had an element almost of like It's a Wonderful Life in terms of a Christmas movie. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that we got to see this bright, happy home where all these children have been raised mm-hmm. and then that was taken away from us and we saw like what would the world be like without that love mm-hmm. so it kind of had a it's a wonderful life christmas carol feel to it i really like that sure. have you seen it's wonderful life yet um i have not however i have a movie that i want us to watch next christmas and i don't want to say anything else Hug. okay and <laughs> as long as you promise to watch it's a wonderful life first it's a good one you guys need us pull them through that mm-hmm. I was about to ask if you've both seen It's Wonderful Life because she said, oh, I watch it all the time. So I knew she had. It's my oh, favorite yeah. Christmas movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like, it was, like, on PBS and everything. Like, yeah. of course, we watched it. <laughs> it was always on If it was Grandma's. under a rock, we were there. <laughs> at Grandma's on Christmas Eve, it was PBS. Always... <laughs> it's, like, black and white, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if the mom-dad aspect of Ruby will be something that kind of... Oh, we had a ongoing. dark figure walking away into the horizon. Yeah, I definitely feel something. like that's going to... Sure. Either, well, either I, that or it's going to be like the things like, no, that's in the past. You can't change the past. We can never go there. It's always going to be like a temptation thing Yeah. to like, try and get there. But what? even like the crack started whenever uh, What's-Her-Face was really young. Shoot, I'm... Drawing a blink on her name. I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? The crack. The the original crack? Yeah. Like in Doctor Who. Yeah. You mean back to Matt Smith? Yes. Karen Gillan, uh, Amy Pond? Amy Pond. There we go. Even when she was young, the crack they showed it feeding throughout her whole life, right? Yeah. This so maybe this, we will come back to the mom like that. Well, that was seeping through the timeline and stuff, too, so you were seeing it throughout. But this one here, like, it felt like, well, we got to go back to the past and fix this so that Ruby is here with her mom. But then, like, he's there, and you see them walking away. I thought it might be a, I have fixed, you know, I fixed the past. The future should be intact. Like, going and doing this may change it to where, you know, like, you have Carla who's like, you know, I don't think there's any more room. I don't know who I'd be without you. Like, you talk about the wonderful life aspect. Like, going and doing that may change all of this. And I thought maybe that's what they were avoiding, where it's like, they left. They left her. She wants her. If sure. She made her life better. We're not going to go. Ruby's like, happy. If I go and talk to her, yeah. what's that going to do? Is it going to make her want to go get the baby? And then we keep the life the way it is now where, you know, she didn't foster 33 kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, she know? doesn't so, not have a mom. She does. Yeah, so I don't know if it's a thing where it's like it's better this way kind of idea. Like that mother didn't want her, she's gone, mm-hmm. or couldn't take care of her, whatever the case was. And now we're things are good where they are and we shouldn't mess with that. Or we go back, or, like Eric said, and it's Ruby all along because of the trench coat and everything boots. looks so modernized. Those boots. I got all I throughout think, the episode, what, I'm like, those boots! I think what Aaron is saying is the default and that it, that's what it works for in for this. Sure. Right? Me, yeah. but... How old is Ruby, though? 19. 19? Mm-hmm. And this is 2023? Yeah. So it would... 
it's not unreasonable that it's that style. Like two thousand four, that's not a, an unreasonable style for two thousand four. That's true, but I mean, we've seen crazier things in Doctor Who. No, we could I, be I totally Ruby agree. Walking away from, but it's not like it was self off. It's not like it was nineteen thirty or something like that. Now, she's wearing high heel platform boots or true, something true, with true. a pencil skirt. I will you know? say that whoever was walking away was taller than Ruby. Yes, yeah. definitely. But that's a TV thing sometimes. Like, they don't know either one exactly what's going to happen next or two. They just they put, like, an yeah. average body yeah. shape yeah. in there and, like, oh, we'll cast and somebody later. You but cloak them and shroud them yeah. with hoods and stuff so you can't tell hair. But it, body type. Yeah. If that. there is any type of... Uh, it's like that person who stole that computer in Chuck where you had no idea who they could have been. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Yeah, I, I, you're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I would say if there's any type of like uh, story that's was is seated to be built upon later, that's probably it. Uh, there was a lot of new things though that I really liked. The gloves, where it's a really cool device. Uh, is that thing something that will stick around, or do you think that's like for this? I don't know. They also had them like short out kind of yeah. thing, and like sh- sh- oh, like so they, they was charge, he breaking them? I don't know to do that. You I know? know. I would appreciate. Doctor Who, and specifically the Doctor, like, since he does have a trench coat, going back to the old feeling of, like, having everything he needs in his trench coat. Yeah, like, like, in his pocket somewhere, there is something that will do something to make it work. Are you thinking of, like, Baker or whatever? Yeah. Would be like, like sh- sh- oh, Baker would here's your- always have something. What's the damn candy? <laughs> Jelly babies. <laughs> Jelly babies, <laughs> screwdriver, yeah. and all this stuff. We'd okay. have like a if Rubik's can, Cube, we would have like bits of wire and scrap and if it's like a, a utility belt of stuff that we see throughout the season, that could be cool to like reference back on, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't just pull out something that's you know the sonic screwdriver is a it's a fun thing, but it also it also is like anything you need to do, it does in the story, right? Except so wood. Point, Except for wood, which I yes, love, yeah. they wood. did. Which, but he'll point and you'll make a noise and we'll have to just assume something happens, but it might be more fun to, like, create a little arsenal, you know, that yeah. we recognize more. You know, we have the psychic paper and we have the screwdriver. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. More technology, which is crazy because more gadgets, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic screwdriver used to be able to cut through doors. Really? Yeah. But it was still coming through. <clears throat> no, it was kind of like a blowtorch kind oh, of cool. effect. So, we have a new Sonic. What do you guys think? I want to, like, see it. Yeah. Like, sometimes we don't get a good look at it. Like, yeah. I like that we've, over Mailbag especially, like, yeah. people have sent in different Sonic screwdrivers yeah. and stuff. We get so, to, like, like, we get to, like with actually, it. like, yeah. look at them and, like, sure. I think I need to get one it's, of those and see, like, well, what's it's this? It's certainly different. It feels like when the Nintendo Wii dropped, and, like, here's your controller, and you're like, this isn't a controller. <laughs> it's a remote. That's what it feels like to me, you know? But that's not a bad thing. Eventually, I, I love that thing. And a nunchuck, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean... So it's different. I have... I mean, we had Capaldi with Sonic glasses. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yeah. But that oh, was yeah. like... I think that was supposed to be like one of his ideas where he was like, oh, you know, for kids that want to play the doctor, it's yeah. easy to get a pair of sunglasses. They yeah. don't always be... They're not always able yeah. to get like... I guess what I mean point. is there's going to be... There's going to be... I can... Like, when I saw it, I, I heard like a faint like... Oh, in the background of people that are really angry. That they change, and they change something up. That's, don't that's don't been listen going for to so those long. people. I'm not listening to them. I could just feel their presence <laughs> when I saw it. I was like, "That's different." I think it's cool because you know, as big as the Sonics have been, yeah, there's not always a, a comfortable, convenient pocket for that. But that, true, you can slip that in your hip pocket, in your back pocket, in your coat pocket, anything like that, and it's and it's, it's form like rem- fitting. It's like a remote key fob thing. That's yeah, just flat. It's I mean, flat. It's rounded. It fits go, your go hand. Different, yeah, do different stuff. That'd be cool. Sure. I'd have one. You ever? see those like staffs that you hit the button and it goes Psh. yeah you know but like this big I'd, I'd be my son I need I'd have like a Gandalf <laughs> <laughs> you have a sonic staff yeah I really want to cool. see the 13th doctor screwdriver because okay. his looked like a weird mixture of like 10 11 and 12 or something mm, yeah. so I want to see that Jody's was different and interesting because it had like that weird kind of metal like, with like it was a little more shaped. Yeah, yeah, it was more like hand shaped too rather than yeah. just being straight like ergonomic mm-hmm. yeah so like we have a- yeah, Mario. there's a version of yeah. it over here, too. Yeah. Because we had to keep that hidden forever from these guys. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I don't like Back there in the closet. Hidden away. Here's our contraband. Jody's is how you feel like when you see Dooku's lightsaber for the first time. It's like, huh, huh. interesting oh, choice. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, this one's real different. At first, I thought of Click, Adam Sandler and Click. Yeah. This is like seeing, like, a light whip. Yeah. Where it's like, that's really different for a lightsaber. I don't know if I like it yet. You know, like one of those kind of things. Yep, yep. Then some people were like light whips, like no, it's supposed to be a saber, not a whip. 
You hurt yourself. Cut your head off. <laughs> you <know>? That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Also, during that time when he was using it on the door, he said something like, different or wrong world, which I thought was an interesting, like, line. Like, I was so shocked by the appearance, I didn't hear what he said. Yeah, well, because I thought it was like, because the wood, right? The wood, he, it doesn't work on. He was trying to do the door. He's like, oh, you need screws. Mm -hmm. But he said something like, different world or wrong world, and I was like, that's a weird line. I wonder... This isn't my world. Yeah. Disappointed! Like, has he been to another world where, like, it does work on wood doors or something? Or, I don't know. I just thought, unless I heard it wrong. I'm gonna go back and look. Let's go back. Uh, is this what we have? Where, 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 where. Is it possible he said wrong wood <laughs> instead of wrong world? I don't think so. <sighs> wrong world. Why was it, it? To me, it sounds like he says wood, but I, I don't know. I hear wrong wood. wood. I, I heard wood the first time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, wood. because but it doesn't work on wood. Maybe the subtitles are wrong, something like that. But, mm -hmm. like, I saw, I, re I think I read it. Scripts. And it says wrong world. And I was like, wrong world? That's weird. If he says yeah. wrong wood, and then he goes and says it doesn't work on wood in general, then wrong world would make more sense. Yeah. So, I don't know. I was just curious on what that meant, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't know. I do have to say, the mm -hmm. singing. <laughs> this is the second episode with like a musical number. I That's true because MPH sang in the last yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, this one's about eating babies. So we had a whole song I did love to I, eating babies. It was very like weird, but I loved it. Sure. I hate it, loving it so it much. It had like a feeling of like gremlins, right? I felt like, like, like the singing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then she comes out with like all the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But then it has like this, you know, I don't know. Tall I remember tale before Christmas. Or, kind yeah, of like this, uh, this kind of like Grimm's fairy tale feeling of like goblins that come and eat babies. You know, it's a very grim subject sure. matter. It's very but it's, it's treated but very it's so, whimsical. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They have that. Psychologists talk about like the the instinct that people have, like oh babies, I'm gonna and you take your feet and you're gonna I'm gonna eat you. Like there's <laughs> there is some weird human brain chemistry when it comes to seeing a cute baby and eating them. I yeah, just it's eat weird. You up. But like they kind of throw that in there when the mix too. It's really that's interesting. hilarious. And Shooty can sing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, he has well, good rhythm, good yeah. dance, good like I'm, him busting moves there yeah. in the club was amazing. A lot of actors have a lot of cross training when it comes to like. Singing, dancing, choreography, that type and of thing. And hurdling? But, I yeah. think that was legit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. But especially at the end when he says, I am the doctor, he has such a rich tone of voice, which the doctor really needs, I think. Mm. I think when I think the best moments of the doctor, it's the tone of voice and the command of it. And I feel like he has a very unique instrument with his voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be interested to see, like, the, there's, like, the happy, energetic, like, attitude he has but I'll be interested to see Get like mad. the darker moments yeah. of the doctor because that's always a fun thing it's like I love yeah. like yeah. Jody had a ton of like eccentric like vibes from her mm -hmm. but I never really felt like the real dark undertone sometimes from her um, I'll be interested to see when it hits with that with him like I, I felt that from Capaldi for sure yeah. I felt yeah. it from Smith but for sure yeah. Tennant for sure Eccleson was almost always just kind of broody <laughs> you know? broody and angry <laughs> you, yeah. I mean I've, I've heard before and we've talked before about like Different reincarnations of the doctor kind of like suit his mindset mm -hmm. at the time, yeah. depending on what trauma he's been through. So, and this one has overcome yeah. the most recent trauma. Yeah, that David Tennant's still going. He's through, like, right? you did the work, or what do you say last time? Like, um, I'm fine because you got better, or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We do rehab out of order. I'm fine because you fix yourself, which is why he's with his like he's with family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vacationing <laughs> you know and that, so but yeah I'll be interested to see like what like what was it here it's like I you know I just learned that I was adopted recently like yeah. he had that yeah. kind of thing so there's still the some real, stuff like that that he's going through you know the only real down moment he had is kind of when it wasn't even down it was neutral but he's like I'm alone I don't have anybody it was very neutral yeah line reading of it but like you know I liked I liked the emotion he had when he's like I gotta go back and mm -hmm. save yeah. Ruby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you know, when you have the, uh, like, I'll be interested to see his 
Zygon or his Titanic speech or sure. his who's going to be first speech. You know, like those kind of moments are ones that really stand out for like the various doctors. Like I love Matt Smith there at Stonehenge being like, mm-hmm. who's going to be first? You know, like you like the moment, moments that you know? remind like, you like, oh, thank God the doctor is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's better than the master. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be curious to see what happens with him. And that might be the... Uh, Whoever like NPH was talking about and uh, the, the meat or the whatever boss, yeah. was talking about like there's something else out there something else coming. Um, yeah. uh, the the shoot who did NPH play? He played the uh, toy maker. Is that what it was? A toy maker. Mm-hmm. He had a thing where it was like so that's someone okay. someone else came in and he kind of like left them alone or something like that. Like they scared him with all the powers that the toy maker had, you know. So that may be the point that we get to where it's like here's a darker, scarier moment. But he also kind of implied that the Timeless Child thing, like, Toymaker came in and messed with stuff and created the Timeless Child thing to screw with his past. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we dive more into that. Hmm. I know a lot of people, I don't know a lot of people, but I know that there was pushback on the bi-generation thing, especially retroactively happening, mm-hmm. where a lot of people were like, what? But I think that's a lot of, like, I think it's FOMO, where it's like, wait, so you mean there's... Doctors are still there, and we're just, we don't <laughs> we get to don't see get to what's see happening them. here, you know? Like, yeah. You're changing all the history of what I've enjoyed so far, and it's like, well, yeah, but, you know, there's the future. Where do we go to next, and what can we do? And also, there's time travel, so the future is also the past. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just assume there's stories that we just haven't seen with the doctors and yeah. stuff at different times, you know? So. Like if, we're, if we're gonna see it, we'll see it eventually. Yeah. I don't, I don't we need think, to rush. I don't think it at the same time... I don't, I don't think it undermines what we've seen so far that has occurred that the doctor's no. gone through, you know? Except for the River Song stuff. I'm like, she's been alone this whole entire time, whenever she could have been but with But we someone. don't know no, that. No, she's not alone. I mean, we, we see her death first time we meet her, right? Like, yeah. We see where her story ends. But she spent years with Capaldi on that moon with the whistling uh, cliffside. Yeah, and stuff. that's like, true. I know, but then the she's like, your face looks... So young, you wore your face looks so old. <laughs> like it was always like, shouldn't she have known? I don't know. I guess at that point in time, uh, there is good. good that was also times. that was also the first round before. We don't know everything that happened with River so. Also, her saying like, I think she said your eyes look so young or something like that. I forget exactly what it is. Just implying that she's from the Doctor's future. Um, but then you get Capaldi, who was like. Yes, actually old. old <laughs> than Tennant does, you know? Yeah. His grandpa doctor is what... You know, Aww, kind of. He's my, one of my favorites. He was just so crazy, zany. He was high energy, too. For the most part, yeah. I think his first season was, like, the lowest of it. Like, he yeah. was the lowest energy there, but he was just kind of grumpy. Being chased man. by a yeah, he was kind of grumpy. And then, yeah, he but then he got... I, I think he found the, the rhythm. With the guitar? Yeah, he got long hair and a guitar. Well, that was a fun Christmas special. Mm-hmm. I now that we, I assume we've met the companion that's going to be with us. We might get a couple more. Yeah. I wanted that that cop. You want the cop? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh man, this would be interesting. <laughs> but he's going to be engaged in two days. Yeah, right, right, yeah. 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 I know, but time travel. Hey, <laughs> you can have him back in time. Also, credit where credit is due. This doctor got exactly where he wanted to go in the TARDIS. That is yeah. true. Like, to the, like, to the two, two minute, minute mark. Yeah. Twice or three times. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that so rarely happens. Like he hammered out all the bugs last episode. Yeah, so it's never going to happen again. Until it gets coffee spilled on it. How many episodes <laughs> until it happens accidentally again? What do you think? I'm sorry, uh, there are no accidents. Uh, this next episode. No, so there are episode coincidences. One, <laughs> that's one the episode? Problem. No, yeah. three. Three? Three? Three episodes. What are we betting? Melanie What's says the The closest without going over. Aaron says three. Calvin? What? What? How many? How is... many episodes do we go before the time? No, what does everybody else say? I just said uh, three. One, three. And, and Eric's then... waiting till you give yours, yes. so he can try to give the <laughs> lowest under yours. I don't even know how many episodes are in Just the because he says season. it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Uh... Six. Six. What do you say? Don't you say seven. <laughs> don't do it. Say, you tried no, to do it. No, don't That's do it. That's why you said five. I know. I stretched it out. I the... say five. Highs without going over kind of thing. Yeah. Closest without yeah. going over. All right. That's what we say. I have nothing else. I'm going to be four. <laughs> but what do you think? That can be our poll. Yeah. Hey. How many episodes do you think it'll be? Until uh, the TARDIS messes up its destination. Yeah. And we'll find out in the spring. I guess so. Oh.
<laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching Doctor Who with us. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out uh, in the spring when Doctor Who returns. We'll be interested to see where the story goes and what enemies we have to face that the Doctor has maybe been foretold about. Or friends we just make. Enemies. Oh, I like friends. 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 Subscribe so you don't miss out. And vote in the poll. Tell us how long you think.